Well, guys, let me see. What do I need to find? I need to find a razor blade. There it is. A razor blade. A blade. Now, this is the saga of a Yezu 400. Now, if any of you guys remember, because of my problem here with electricity, I had blown this radio up. I sent it back to Yezu, telling them what happened. And letting them know that it was my fault. And I really expected to get a big, big bill. However, they fixed it under warranty. Now, it came back, and it came back within four weeks, and that was counting the Christmas and New Year's holiday. Uh, I sent it to them in December, and I got back in January, so it wasn't a long time. And it was free. They didn't charge me to fix it, which was great. It was under warranty, however, warranty for defective equipment, not warranty because defective electricity in my place. Anyway, they fixed it. It came back to me. When it came back to me, I checked the firmware, and the firmware was way outdated. So when I called them up to find out what was going on with the firmware uh, at that point, uh, they said, well, there must be a problem with it send it back because they should have done the firmware update when they repaired it that's part of their their operation i says well it hasn't been so we confirmed that the firmware was way out of date and that they were going to take care of all that so it had to go back again so i sent it back again i sent it back with the cable which was new that came with the radio the microphone, which came with the radio. Now granted, when it first went back to them, and even now, it's still under warranty, so this radio isn't all that old. However, the problem was originally mine, and they fixed it, like I say, the first time under warranty. However, apparently they didn't fix all of it, so it had to go back. So now they're telling me that it's all set, there's a little tag on the back, and that, uh, that's the serial number to that unit. We don't need that on there anymore. So now they're telling me that uh, the cable is bad. Now, they supposedly took care of all the problems. So, it's supposedly updated firmware. Uh, any problems with it should be okay. And I should be able to reprogram it whenever I need to. Or whenever there's a firmware update. Uh, if I have a better cable. They're saying this cable is bad. So, I, and it was, I have to purchase one. I says, well, the radio is new. You're fixing it under warranty. If the cable is bad and I've never used it, shouldn't the cable be warrantied as well? Now, I would think, hello. However, I got a letter back saying it's not under warranty. Well, okay. I really can't complain seeing that they fixed the whole radio twice. Uh, well, they fixed it once, but didn't complete it. It was operational. However, it wasn't uh, programmable via cable, uh, as far as firmware and things. So, they naturally supposedly fixed that, because apparently when they fixed it the first time, they didn't check to see just if, in fact, it was completely repaired or not. Now, the guy on the phone, the tech said when they 
fix these, they automatically the firmware update. And if it wasn't updated, there must have been a problem, and they should have fixed it then. Um, you know, so at that point, anyway, to make a long story short, it's supposed to be back to 100%. And they're telling me the cable that came with the unit is bad. Well, seeing it, they saved me a lot of money on the repair because they fixed my problem under warranty. Um, I guess me buying a cable isn't going to be all that bad because it very well could have cost me an arm and a leg to fix this radio. Um, when it says FT400, it could have very easily cost me close to that to fix it. Um, so that's where we're at with the radio. Now, I'm not going to check the firmware just yet because I still have to set it all up. I still have a few things to do around here. D&H, good company. Sometimes a little expensive on certain things, but they are a good company. Um, I bought the uh, body cam from them, and I've also bought a few other things from them, but I can't remember what it was because I was talking to the wife about it the other day, and I'm saying, I don't remember. And I know that I bought things from them. So, all right. So I'll put this catalog of B and J or B and H rather. B and H. What did I say before? B and K, B and H, whatever. I'm gonna have my uh, <coughs> excuse me, my breakfast. It's actually late. I'm getting a very late start. I had a real mushad day. Uh, I guess I'm just working my ass off too much. Uh, what time is it here? Come on. It is, it's noon time. It is May 2nd, 2015 at noon, 12 o'clock. Now, they said the weather was going to be lousy for the next few days. Well, it's nice out there. <laughs> so, <clears throat> hey, Nick. How you doing, buddy? So, I'm going to shut off, and I will be right back. Probably could use right. breeze, the radio came back. <clears throat> the memory was wiped clean, which is actually a good sign. <clears throat> uh, so I just reloaded the memory, uh, the, the channels. Um, the radio itself accepts a mini SD card, as well as a USB and the programming cable behind it. So it gives you multiple ways of working it. I had everything saved on an SD card uh, for this radio. Um, and that's where we're at so far. Now, <clears throat> why I said the memory being wiped clean was a good sign is because that may... Turn that down. That may indicate that they updated the firmware. <clears throat> So now, seeing that I haven't had the radio in a few months, I forgot. So it's time to go through the manual. Now this whole manual, believe it or not, is all in English. So it's not 10 different languages. So we have to kind of go through it to find out how to get to... Well, actually, it may be kind of simple here. Let's see. Let's go into the menu here for a minute. All right. Uh, anything there that looks related to SD or... Data, maybe? Thanks. In a recent FDA warning letter, the manufacturer of the Bard and Fear Vena Cava IVC filter and its retrieval system was warned for Speed. failure to notify the FDA of life No, it isn't that one, so let's go back. Uh, let's check config. I'm in date. I'm going to have to put that in there. But for now... I'm looking for something that relates to How do you protect your legal rights? 
You choose the right legal team that has the experience, support staff, and resources to help you. Well, that's not there. So if you or a loved one... Okie dokie. Uh, on your screen now. How about if we try... Can we leave a note for Dr. Franklin? Negative. The energy bar people want to keep the nope. hush hush. Why? Show business reasons. Don't worry about it. Uh, huh. You okay? I guess I'm going to have to look at the book. Oh, there's another menu, by the way. Another full menu. Right, but yeah. If I ever thought it was in that one, but it may not be. So let me get the book. I'll be right back. All right. So if we go here and go into Reset Clone, it should give us some type of reading up in this corner. And it should be two or better. I think it's up to like three now, but it's got to be at least two or better. Okay, it is 2.2. 2. Okay, so we can deal with that. <clears throat> so that's okay. So that's at least better than it was because before it was like one or zero one I mean it was really down there uh, so two and better 2.2 .2 is is about where it should be I thought it was up to three but that may be another another radio I don't know because I've got tons of radio sitting here right now all right I'll be right back okay so now the next one, as you can see here, the DSP version is 4.10, 4.10, which is great. So they did upgrade and fix the firmware issue because those were both like either 1.0 something or 0 0.10 something. I don't remember. Uh, all I remember was I was pissed, so I didn't pay too much attention to it. So that's kind of where we're at with that. So they did upgrade the firmware, so I feel comfortable that the radio is basically fixed. However, I still, even though they did right by me by fixing this under warranty, uh, even though I had to go back the second time because whoever looked at it the first time didn't do a total check on it, um, but the cable apparently uh, is an issue because I feel that seeing if I was to buy this radio which I did and I opened the box which I did and I hooked it up which I did plugged the cable in and never used it because I had no need to use it until I wanted to update the firmware I didn't think about updating the firmware because I had just bought the radio, so I didn't even think about it. But when it came back, I said I want to check it. Well, the cable apparently doesn't work because I sent it back to them and they said it needs a new cable. And they wrote X's all over it. As you can see. Uh, and then they said the cable is not warranted. Well, come on. You know, I mean, if it was brand new in the box and it's not working, what well, seems to be the problem here, guys? And it's not like when I had it plugged in, I kept a strain relief on it, so it wasn't pulling on anything. But yet, they don't want to know nothing. So I, I kind of, is, is kind of pissed off about that. But at the same token. I can't be pissed off because they fixed the radio for nothing. So, if I pursue it, I can probably get a new cable out of them. But you know what? It isn't worth it. You know, it really isn't. So, at this point, I'll just uh, not worry about it right now. I'll check the new firmware on their website in the next couple months to see if they had updated it at all. And at that point, I will order a cable. So, we'll worry about it then.